This channel is proudly sponsored by Earscapes. Check out their Patreon for audio dramas, free previews and exclusive tiers featuring music, content creation and all things related to professional creativity. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring Rift Breakers. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this MMORPG style solo slash cooperative tabletop RPG, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about crafting. It is perfectly fine to survive in this game through the objects that you have obtained during your quests, during your adventures, but sometimes you simply cannot find what you are searching for. It is better to create it. This is accomplished through the skills of alchemy, blacksmithing and leatherworking. Each time you craft a new item for the first time, you gain plus 1% in that crafting skill. So it's just as in many MMORPGs, except you are doing this in the tabletop. In order to craft an item, you must have access to the appropriate crafting station. You need the correct type of tools in your possession and you must have all the necessary materials. You also need to have the appropriate skill level and spend the required time to craft a specific item. Once all the requirements are met, you must make a skill check with the appropriate crafting skill. When it comes to gathering ingredients, this could be as simple as killing an enemy, a monster and obtaining some ingredients, reagents, objects for your crafting plans. But other times you need to search various environments, such as mountains, forests, plains, deserts, with the aim of discovering various mineral deposits, obtaining precious gems, perhaps even plants or seeds. That way you will be able to craft powerful weapons and armor, as well as useful and miraculous potions. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part we are going to talk about followers and companions. I really like the crafting system. It feels just like an MMORPG, just like in a video game. And of course you get to decide if you want to use the items that you create, or if you want to sell them. It's all up to you. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or the Right Through RPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment as well. And remember, in tabletop RPGs you are not telling stories about your characters, you are experiencing the game world as your characters. Once again, thank you and see you later!